Beans are among the most versatile and commonly eaten food throughout the world. But they are popular for their gassy impacts on your digestive system. They make you fat a lot and when you do, it's often drastic. When you hear the term superfoods, then beans should be at the top of your mind. They are loaded with nutrients, with the most popular being protein. But this video is going to be talking about other ways beans can make a great addition to your daily diet. Also, I'll try to explain why they cause gas and tend to upset your digestive system. According to a data compiled by the Food and Agricultural Organization of the US, there are over 16,000 members of the beans family, but only 1% of those are edible. In Nigeria, it's processed into staple foods such as moimoi and akara. I would love to tell you how akara and moimoi are being prepared, but I don't have the slightest idea. So if you do, why not tell me in the comment section below. All I do know though is that they are very delicious. All types of beans seem perfect for your health, but the truth is that there are some that are more nutritious than others. Now the truth is that the kidney beans and the black beans are the most nutritious type of beans and legumes on the planet. Okay, now let's dive deeper into some of the most specific health benefits of beans and why they deserve a place in your diet. The first one is that beans are low in glycemic index despite being high in carbohydrate and starch. This means that they keep blood sugar levels in the body under check. Because unlike other carbohydrates that may spike blood sugar, beans contain slow digesting starch that triggers a sustained release of glucose and that keep blood sugar under balance. This was originally known as lentil effect but now it's known as the second meal effect. This is the reason the consumption of beans is often recommended for people who have type 2 diabetes. Also, it is recommended for people who want to prevent and reduce their risk of diabetes. Now, there's no guarantee against cancer, but a large percentage of cancer risk is due to lifestyle and dietary causes. But beans and legumes can reduce the risk of many types of cancer in several ways. One way is through the fiber they contain. Beans and legumes are among food richest in dietary fiber. Fiber is essential to help stifle excess hormones and carcinosis out of the body. Without adequate fiber, this waste product keeps circulating in the body and periodically causing cancer. If you are looking to lose a few pounds or maintain a healthy body weight, then beans and legumes are among the best food you can add to your diet. What? Did you just say it's not true? You think beans makes you add weight? Okay, let's explain. Beans are high in soluble fiber which slows digestion and makes you full for a longer period of time. If you are a vegetarian, then beans can help you enjoy more plant-based protein. It's also a great way to cut down on animal protein. Sincerely, 80% of the protein consumed in this country comes from animals. So finding several vegan sources is important for those that do not consume meat. Now, if you think of foods with antioxidants, you are probably thinking of dark leafy green vegetables, right? But one of the health benefits of pinto and kidney beans is the tremendous amount of antioxidants packed in every bean. After all those nutritional benefits of kidney beans, you are probably still wondering why it causes so much gaseous upset to your digestive system. Here it is. Like I said, beans are a great source of fiber, which is an indigestible plant mineral that has a number of health benefits. Now, since it's unable to be digested, most of the fiber end up being fermented by the bacteria in our gut, making it prebiotic. The prebiotics help to improve the growth of good gut bacteria. So, diets high in fiber can also contribute in gas and bloating. That is the reason for the famous noise about beans. So when soluble fiber passes through the digestive tract, it can be fermented by the bacteria in our gut, causing gas as it breaks down. So if you want to increase your fiber intake, it's best to do it slowly as it helps your body adjust and then reducing the effect of the gas. I have a suggestion for you. Why not try including beans in your everyday diet? They should replace other animal-based protein. Try to back them up with exercise and a balanced diet in order to reap the full benefit of the food. Do you know of any other health benefit of beans? Let me know in the comment section below. Consider subscribing to this channel. Also turn on the notification button so you get to see when we upload videos like this one and many more. You can check out the description box of this video for other videos we've uploaded on this channel. My name is Kosi Kosi Manuel. I'll see you next time. Bye.